I find it very distressing that you have made it this far and have falsely accused an innocent person. I'm sorry, but I must send you back to the start of the game. And I had been falsely under the impression I had been dealing with detectives of a professional caliber. I have no choice but to return you back to the beginning. If that were the answer, it would all be so simple. You could merely continue on to the next question. But I'm sorry to inform you, you got it wrong. But don't worry, I'll be waiting right here for you next time. I'm sorry, but you haven't put your brain to the task. Please try again, will you? From the beginning? So close, and yet so far away. It pains me to do this, but I must order you to turn around and march, post-haste, to the start of the game. I am shocked! You have utterly missed the mark! It's not good form to make incorrect accusations. Return to the starting point immediately. You have overlooked the motive entirely. Stop lollygagging and return to your investigation at once. I regret to inform you that you have blundered badly. Stop wasting the court's time and return to the beginning of the case. Ugh. That answer is unfit for this courtroom. Please leave at once and try to get it right next time, will you? And you were so close. I know this was a difficult question and I considered being lenient on you. But my conscience wouldn't permit it. Now, back to the start of the game. You could not be more incorrect. Proceed immediately to the start of the game. And please, get it right next time, will you? It is most untidy to miss the motive. Unfortunately, I must insist that you return to the beginning at once. I thought you'd have this one. Clearly you don't. I am sorry, but you must start again. That wasn't the motive at all. Leave this courtroom at once and head straight for the start of the game. It pains me to tell you this, but that is not right. I'm afraid I must sentence you back to the start of this whole investigation. And I was praying you would respond correctly. Return to the beginning of the game and next time please try to get it right. No, 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 that is absolutely incorrect. Back to the start immediately, if not sooner. Clearly, you have overlooked a key element in your investigation. Return to the start at once. And you were so close, yet so far away. I have half a mind to grant you a pardon, but my conscience won't permit it. Back to the beginning of the game. So sorry. You nearly had it. I loathe to do this to you, but I must sentence you back to the start of the game. So sorry. Excellent job on a most difficult case. If we had been doing our best, we could have solved this one in less points, but we're not too far off, are we? Not bad, I dare say. If we had been right on top of it, we could have cracked the case in less points, 
But in any event, I'm breathing easier. At least we got our man. We must be slipping, my dear Holmes. I dare say if we had put our brains to the task, we could have solved this one in less points. My word, dear Holmes, perhaps we are in the wrong business altogether. If we had been top-notch, we should have cracked this case in less points. I think I'll ring up the university immediately and see if we might enroll in a detective course. Well, Holmes, I did speak to the gentleman, but he was baffled as to why I had come. It seems as though he had absolutely no information pertaining to this case. Well, he certainly was a chatty fellow, but I got the distinct feeling that he had no idea why I came to this location. I think that someone has led us down the wrong path altogether. This woman certainly had no information to help our investigation. She wondered why I had disturbed her, Holmes. Maybe we had the wrong address. Sorry, Holmes. No information here. Well, let's not dawdle, Watson. There's work to be done. This seemed to be a dead end. No one had any information that could help us solve this case. Oh, look, there is a note on the door that says that they will be out all afternoon. It appears we have wasted our time. Excellent deduction, Watson. You're finally learning. Pity. It appears that no one is in. However, can you tell, Holmes? There is a sign on the door that says we are gone for the day. How terribly observant, Holmes. Elementary, my dear Watson. All this way and not a clue to help us solve this case. How terribly disappointing. I can't believe we came all this way when there are more important things to pursue. Indeed, Holmes. I don't know what got into us. I've rung the bell a half dozen times and no one has come to the door. Really, Watson? Next time I would appreciate it if you would thoroughly research your leads before you ask me to come along. What did you learn, Watson? Not a thing, Holmes. You learned nothing? Don't get testy, Holmes. There wasn't anyone about. My humble apologies, Watson. It appears that they've just left. There are fresh footsteps retreating from the front door. But look, Holmes, there are also some coming towards the door. Terribly observant, Watson. However, the prints you are looking at belong to us. How unlucky. No one seems to be around. This appears to have been a royal waste of time. Why is that, Holmes? There's not a soul in sight.
How unfortunate. There's not a soul in sight. Pity. I question why we have come to this location. If clues are what we are seeking, then we are in the wrong place altogether. Well, there was no one in the entire establishment that could shed any light on this investigation. Well, the menu was full of delightful entrees, but if information was the goal of this visit, then this location was a royal waste of time. They had absolutely no information pertaining to this case. I thought not, Watson. It appears that we've wasted our time. Well, the food smelled absolutely wonderful, but no one was able to give any information that may have been useful to solving this case.